Hi guys, it's Riley here, and I am back today with a brand new video for you. Today we are going to be talking about regressing in private, or having to be a secret or a discreet regressor. This is a video that a lot of you guys have asked me to make. You want tips and tricks for regressing in private so people don't find out or people don't know. So that's what we're going to do. A lot, a lot of people keep their regression a secret, they keep it private, they don't tell people, and that's for a number of reasons. It could be for safety, for comfort reasons, because you could lose housing or other things like that. And it's totally okay to not be open about your aggression, to not talk with people about it, to only have an anonymous account or to not show your face. It's totally okay. Age aggression is always a very personal thing to you, so it makes sense how some of you would not want to share it with others really. But I know that regressing in private can be really stressful because you have to like hide all of your things and make sure people aren't gonna find them. So I have a few tips for you for regressing in private. First things first, if you want to buy things to aid your regression but aren't sure how to go about it, Amazon is a really great way. The only thing it'll say on the card statement is that it was a purchase from Amazon. It won't say what it is. So you can use Amazon to buy onesies, you can use Amazon to buy passies and diapers, pretty much whatever you want. You can also get a PayPal and use PayPal and connect it to a bank account or a card and use it to pay for things on like Wish, on eBay, on Etsy, like those are all really great places to get good regression items to aid your regression. And you can make money through PayPal, you can have people send money to your PayPal and then you use your PayPal money to send someone else. You don't even have to connect it to a bank account or card if you don't have one, as long as you have another way of getting money into your PayPal. Another tip I have is to hide some of your smaller accessories and things like passies or bottles in a stuffy bag. Stuffed animals are something that people of all ages have, literally all ages. So people probably wouldn't look twice seeing a stuffed animal in your room. So you can kind of hide your Adri things in plain sight if you get one of those bags that looks like a stuffed animal that has a zipper on the back and you can just put pacifiers or bottles or other small trinkets in that little zipper pocket. If you're interested in onesies you can always buy solid color onesies. Shops like Little Tude and Onesies Down Under and AB Universe sell them and they look a lot more similar to t-shirts than actual onesies because they don't have print on them like this one does. So you can wear them around family or in public and it can be a lot more discreet if you're not looking to be open about your regression. Patterned and fuzzy socks are loved by everyone and I know that they're like an instant regressor for me. You can literally find cute socks for adults almost everywhere. On Amazon, on eBay, in stores like Target or Walmart, even at the dollar store they carry fuzzy socks. So don't discount those fuzzy socks as regression items that can be discreet. Water bottles can make great makeshift sippies. I'm specifically talking about the ones that have like the flip spout and a straw in them. Those are really nice and you can get adult ones in a lot of cute patterns with a lot of cute characters like you can get Disney ones, Marvel ones, it's adorable. So if you can't have a sippy because you're worried about someone finding it, why not just get a cute water bottle? Another important thing to remember is that cash does not leave a trail. If you have a way to make some money and get some cash, use your cash and go to like Walmart Walmart or the dollar store and buy yourself some little stuff. Literally no one will be able to track it because it's cash. Cash does not leave a trail. So people cannot be like, oh, what'd you spend here when? Just ask that you don't get a receipt back and you'll be golden. Overalls are currently major in trend and are worn by all types of people of all ages. A lot of times, especially now in the spring and summer, you can go to like Walmart or Old Navy and JCPenney and find places that sell overall shorts. But you can also get regular overalls and there are places online I know that you can get overalls. Plus they're really cute and I feel like they make a lot of us feel really, really small. I know they do for me. I have, I think five pairs of overalls, one pair of long ones, and then four pairs, that's three, four pairs of shortalls, and I really, 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 really love them. You can also get cute underwear or training pants instead of dips or pull-ups. They make a lot of really cute patterned underwear for adults. Like even places like MeUndies has just some adorable options. And for training pants, they're kind of like a slightly padded 
underwear that looks more kitty. I know baby pants sell some, rear sell some, and they are super, super, super cute. Plus they're really comfy, make you feel really, really small, and they're easier to kind of like hide. So those are just a few of my little tips and tricks for regressing in private. If you would like to see another video about private regressing or being a secret regressor, please let me know over on my Twitter or on my Instagram. Twitter is at crayon kiddo and Instagram is at crayons and pencils. I would love to make another video on this top. Specifically, if you guys have things that you want me to talk about in this video, be sure to let me know. I will write them down. That's about all I have for you this week. I I love you guys a lot and I really hope you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe if you want because I post new videos based on age regression every single week on this channel. And like I said, if you want to keep up with me on a day-to-day -day basis, you can follow me on Twitter at CrayonKiddo or on Instagram at Crayons and Pencils. I love you guys a whole heckin' lot and I will see you soon. Goodbye!